In this video, I'm going to show you how to create screens that have text for your games and maybe show you how to do like an instruction screen. So first, what we're going to do is I have a, a snap project open. Um, I'm going to save this as um, instructions screen demo. And I'm going to open up a new tab and go to slides.google.com. I'm going to create a new blank presentation. And in this presentation, I'm going to say, uh, welcome to my game. This is maybe the title screen. Uh, and I want to add some instructions. Use the arrows to move and space bar to shoot. Anywhere on the screen, click. All right. So here's my uh, slide. I'm going to give it a background just to make it look OK. And then what I need to do next is I need to export this as an image so that I can load it into Snap. So I'm going to go up to the file. And I'm going to say download. So file, download. And I want to export it as a PNG, Portable Network Graphic. And I'm just downloading that current slide. OK, so now I see that my, my image of my slide has downloaded there. OK, I'm going to go back over to Snap. And I'm going to add this image to that sprite. So let me see here. Go to my downloads. Untitled presentation was the name of that. I'm going to rename it. Instructions. Right. So now when the green flag is clicked, right, I can add some scripts and I can say, well, I want you to switch to the instruction screen because that's what I named it. And uh, I'm going to wait until, and then maybe we say like, I don't know, mouse is down. Once the mouse is down, maybe I want this thing, this image to go off of the screen so I can tell it to go to like 300, 300, and maybe I should tell it to hide. There's a hide in the sh in the looks palette. I go to hide. Okay, so I want that to be there. Once it's hidden, it has to show again. So let's try it again. Okay, green flag. Green flag's clicked. This is running. It's waiting until mouse is down. As soon as I click on the mouse, that goes away. Great. If I hit the green flag again just to test it, green flag, ooh, it's gone. The problem is, is that it's hidden. We need to remember that if we hide something, we have to actually show it. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Click the green flag. Oh, what's wrong? It's way up here in the corner. Okay, since I told it to go off the screen, I now need to tell it to go back to the middle. So go to the middle, then show, switch to the correct costume, wait until somebody clicks the mouse, then kind of go away. All right, so green flag, click anywhere on the screen to play. Click on the screen. And now I can start my game. Right here, this would be a great opportunity for this to trigger the rest of your game to run. So we could like broadcast start game. 
And then if you had like other characters, they could, when I receive start game, what should they do? This character is going to come onto the screen and start moving around or enemies will start coming in, etc. Okay. So the big thing that I want you to get out of this video is uh, one, creating a Google Slides presentation with some instructions, file, download as a PNG, then loading that PNG as a costume and renaming it. Then we can use the green flag to trigger when we switch to that costume, hiding things and showing things, maybe putting them off the screen so that they're out of the, the way of your, your game. And then a little bonus was broadcast and receive. This can tell other items when they're supposed to start acting. Okay, let's try one more time. I'll run through it again if you still don't get it. We're going to add a winning and a losing screen. So I'm going to add a call out. Winner. Maybe I make it big like that. And let's make it green. Great. I can duplicate this one. Change this to loser. And make it red. Okay. So I can file, download, PNG the winner slide, go back to my, my sprite that holds the instructions and drag that winning presentation in there. Go back to my presentation, download the loser screen slide and drag that in to my presentation. I wanna rename them, win screen, and right click rename lose screen great okay and that's it now i still need to write the code that's going to make it switch to the winning screen or the losing screen but i don't know what my game is right at this point i just know that i'm going to have some instructions at the beginning then they're going to start to play then at the end, they're either going to win or lose. All right.